Hi, this is Martin. Today I'm going to do a review of Train Your Ears EQ Edition 2, a frequency spectrum ear training application. It's available on both PC and Mac. It is designed to provide comprehensive training within audible frequency range. Why it is not an easy task, I will explain in another video. It's mostly due to psychoacoustics and non-linear nature of auditory perception. What makes Train Your Ears special is that it's pretty much fully customizable, such that we can set it up to address wide range of issues that traditionally come up when learning to hear with precision. There are three sections inside the software. Source, here we've got an audio player, through which we can use any audio material stored on our hard drive, we'll be back here later on. We've got noise generator, which allows us to choose between pink and white noise, Stick to pink noise unless you have a specific defined reason to use white noise. I'll make another video about the reasons of using pink noise in ear training. And we've got a live player section, which allows us to train with any source coming into our audio interface's input. And we've got settings section, as usual. We've got interface configuration. Then we have keyboard shortcut mappings, which are very useful for fast answers and switching between correct answer and our pick if our answer was not 100%. What's very useful, and this is yet another thing showing how serious a training platform this is, it's ability to route the main output of the software through VST or audio unit plugins. As the note says, if you are using room correction or headphone acoustic space emulators, then this is going to let you utilize those simply from within the application. Then we've got exercise designer. This section is what makes it the most advanced frequency training software I know. It allows to fully specify how many bands are we going to be training with, at what frequencies, Q factors, kind of filter and gain changes. More so, it will let us decide how each exercise is going to be presented to us in terms of playback. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. There are two modes of training, guess and correct. In the guess mode, we are supposed to tell what kind of filtering has been used, at what frequency and settings, etc. Version 2 introduced correct mode, in this mode, we are supposed to dial in the correct settings to go back to original audio material. For example, if we hear a cut at 1K by minus 3 dB, we need to boost 1K by plus 3 dB to get 100% correct answer. Then we've got training. The way I usually train is this. I pick up a particular exercise that focuses on a specific ability I want to work on. Let's say keeping concentration which has been one of my favorites, as you can see by the number of exercises I took. And start training. On a typical session, I'll aim to do few exercises of 50 questions. 25 with pink noise and 25 with musical material. Notice that a lot of my audio library is in MP3, which is fine, but we need to be aware that detail is being lost. If our ears are untrained, then we may not be able to tell the difference between lossless audio and lossy, like MP3, but it's there. In fact, ear training of this kind will sharpen your ears and hearing the difference will become natural. This was the case with me. I was unable to tell the difference between 320 kbps mp3 and 44 kilohertz 16-bit PCM file. This made me careless inside the production process. Once my ears became sharper, I started appreciating high-quality audio more. Isotope Ozone helpfully allows us to preview audio that's being removed in the process of the mp3 conversion. I'm going to give you an example of the gameplay. So let's have a go. Unmute.
So basically, after we give an answer, what happens, we get the information feedback of how good the answer was and if we made a mistake, where was the mistake. So here um, we had a boost. Um, I've chosen boost uh, on 400 hertz. I was given 93 points. That means it's not a full accuracy. It's almost almost their actual boost was at 500 hertz so in blue here on the bottom we are getting full details of the actual correct answer which was the q is fixed here and with 12 db here we have a graphical representation of the answer so also we can switch between what we answered wh what answer we gave and what was the actual answer and we can compare the sound of it so if we unmute we can see how different is what we thought uh, it would sound like and what it actually was Let's do an example of the correct mode. We were just in the guess mode, which meant we had to guess what was what happened to the frequency spectrum. So whether it was boosted, um, at what value, at what Q and such. Here we're going to correct the signal to bring it back to the original. So that's the new in version 2, which is very, very nice addition. Uh, let's have a go at that. Unmute. actually forgotten it was just two bands so uh, I was quite fast in that exercise what we need to do uh, we first when I reset here we need to listen to the uh, unequalized pink noise get familiar with its balance and then we when we start quiz we will get the equalized uh, signal and then we have to put it back into the original balance, but we won't be able to hear uh, in that particular exercise uh, the pink noise original uh, anymore. So let's listen. So what happened in this one, one of the bands was at the no change value. So only one of the bands has changed. Um, so often we can boost or cut and just feel if something is missing or feel if something is just too much. The proper property of pink noise is such that it balances very well against our ears ability to hear. So we shouldn't have anything too much or anything missing so that's the practice exactly we are doing to feeling the balance of the energy that we are facing the next step is to practice with music so let's bring something on we can loop something on the bottom here what we can also do we can have a random random shuffle for each exercise and here it would jump to a new song a new time at every new quiz so i'm i'm often just sta staying with one tune for a couple of quizzes just to get familiar with actual balance different songs are or different albums even are mixed with different energy balance and sometimes it's good just to get to know what sort of balance is, is in particular song to know because if you are practicing um, a particular exercise where you are practicing for low end, very low end bass frequency and some bass and you are practicing with a track that doesn't have it, this is not going to be a very successful exercise because 
uh, the boosts will not show anything, pretty much. Or the cuts. Folk shall be within you. Now I run the game, got the whole world talking. King Gota, everybody wanna cut the legs off. King Gota, black man taking no losses. Oh yeah. Bitch, where you and I was walking? Now I run the game, got the whole world talking. King Gota, everybody wanna cut the legs off. Color coordinated, I interrogated every nook and cranny. I mean, it's still amazing. Before they couldn't stand me. These walls wanna cry tears. These walls happier when I'm here. These walls never go hold up. Every time I come around, demolition might. So the brain will fool you often, you know, it will make you think that something has been cha changed when you expect the change possibly to happen. So you press a button and suddenly you feel like, yeah, there's change when in fact there wasn't. So this is an, one example of that. I beg to differ, I must have missed them I'm not involved, I'd rather diss them I'd rather call on you, put your wall up Cause when I come around in it Landlord said the wall vacant more than a minute The wall of vulnerable Exclamation, interior pink Color coordinated, I interrogated Every nook and cranny, I mean it's still amazing Before they couldn't stand me These walls wanna cry tears These walls happier when I'm here These walls never go hold up Every time I come around, demolition might crush If these walls can talk I can feel your rain when it cries Gold lives inside of you If these walls can talk I love it when I'm in Continuously, I can see your defense mechanism is my decision. Knock these walls down, that's my religion. Wall feeling like they ready to close in. I suffocate, they catch my second win. I resonate in these walls. I don't know how long I could wait in these walls. I've been on the streets too long. Looking at you from the outside in, they sing the same old song about how they was always the cleanest. I beg to differ, I must have missed them. So, pretty much, this is how the training goes. You switch between noise, uh, pink noise, uh, go back to your audio player and just continue. And this is an everyday thing for long stretches, I would think. You know, I can, I can feel when I don't do the training for a few days, um, if I'm sitting down to mix, there's something missing, some power missing. So five minutes training is enough to get uh, to attuned. You know, if... If I sit down and as I was doing the training today, so um, I haven't done it for a few days now, uh, I went down to the mid-range exercises. First few were complete miss because my ears were not attuned anymore. But after three or four exercises, I was back on track and I could start f feeling where the ranges are. So that's all you need to stay on track. This is not something that you need to spend hours on, but you know, short, Exercise, a short, short training will give you much further if it's done often. You can get additional exercise packages by going to docs.trainyourears.com. On the left here you've got exercise packages and all of those packages focus on different issues when it comes to ear training. I highly recommend to download all of those packages. They all come with different exercises and also hints which will get you on track in terms of how to listen, where to listen, in terms of the spectrum, what to put your mind on, and even start developing absolute pitch by associating frequencies to the sounds you can make yourself, to making it a stronger connection within your mind. At the time of this review, the price has been reduced to 49 euro from 89 euro before. I think it's a steal. This is a tool that's going to serve you a lifetime because as I said, ear training is a muscle. You need to utilize it. You need to keep doing it. It's not something you do once and never come back to it. It's something that grows on you as your career progresses. So, so don't skimp on your ability to make good judgment when it comes to audio. Thanks for watching.